Hey friends, today's video is going to be a speed clean with me and I'm also going to be showing you how I painted my bathroom countertops to look like marble. So I'm going to be starting this clean with me video off in the living room, then I will be heading into the bathroom and from there we will be painting the countertops. myself for those of you that are new my name is Sammy I'm a mom to four little kids that are the cutest little things but they can make a mess and that is why I made this channel is to help motivate myself to continue to clean up the messes that never end around my house and if you are here and you are new I would love it if you would subscribe and become part of the housewife family so I'm curious to hear if any of you guys have some spots that just collect toys or garbage Underneath my couches and under my TV stand is one for me. So let me know in the comments. Money's feeling more like a pipe dream I take two steps forward and a thousand back It shouldn't take this long to get my life on track Yeah, I swear this basement's gonna be the death of me So I cry out with a hollow voice And I fade into the background noise so like in many of my other videos, I'm going to be using the Sprayway glass cleaner for my TV and also my windows. I really love it, so definitely give it a try if you have it. So this duster is also one of those things that I use all the time in my videos. It is a Swiffer duster and I really do love it as well. To get up in the morning, I'm dreaming, but it alters the nightmares. I'm scared I might not wake up. Cold enough, is this what it feels like? To grow up not knowing how to do anything
Cause you know sometimes it can hurt so bad to be alive No matter how hard I try I had so much to say, but no one to call So I put my heart out to my full wide world Screaming, nobody cares at all on, is this what it feels like? I know I talk a lot about the chores that I don't really like to do, but I thought I would ask you guys what your favorite chore is because mine is actually vacuuming. I love seeing those vacuum lines. It is just so satisfying. but we are a one bathroom household. We have six people in our house and four of us currently use the bathroom, which is still quite a bit of people to use one bathroom. So this bathroom does get a lot of traffic and I do have to clean it more often than I'd like to, but I guess that's just how it is. Another thing I have to do a lot is hide the toilet paper from my son. <laughs> He's at that stage where he just likes to unroll it constantly. I don't really know what you mean When you say I'm not what you need Cause oh, I've seen the look you give me And it's a silent killer heart I've been waiting for you all night Just face it I'm gonna make you mine I'll be your agent Good girl Sorry for these gross toilet shots, but you guys, it's l real life. The toilets get dirty, so I kept them in.
was having a blast playing in the tub. Don't ask me what was so fun about it, but he was not about to get out so I could get these after shots. But that's perfectly fine because he is just so cute. Okay, now we are on to the bathroom countertops. The first thing that I have to do is just clear them off so that they're clean. I'm going to take the pink stuff and use it because it's a mild abrasive. I couldn't find any sandpaper in my house so I thought this was the next best thing. So I'm using the pink stuff to kind of rough it up a little bit to get the paint to stick a little bit better and it did its job because it took away that shiny sheen that's on the paint right now. And yeah, if you guys need anything that works just as well as sandpaper, try the pink stuff. Now that I'm done cleaning the countertop, I am going to use this appliance epoxy. It is made for appliances, but it is waterproof, you can wipe it down, and that is the reason why we used it for our countertops, and it has been really great so far because it's an epoxy, it gets pretty hard, and we've really liked it. <laughs> just gonna take a mini paint roller it's not like a super fuzzy one you don't want a lot of lint or anything to get into your paint and I'm just gonna go over it this has already been painted if you are going over a countertop that has not been painted before you're going to want to have multiple coats probably the trickiest part because it's not really easy to get the roller in there but I just took a paintbrush and pushed it in and it worked out just fine that sweet nostalgia <laughs> Do 
you know what it feels like to wish you were someone else? Anybody else but yourself? Have you ever felt the gravity of life pulling you down? So to get that veining that you want for the marble look, I just took this spray paint. So I, my original plan was to get the touch-up paint that was black and mix it with the white epoxy paint that I already had, but I couldn't find any of the touch-up paint in black. So I just got the spray paint, sprayed a little bit on this tin foil, and put a little bit of the white to mix together and make a gray. And I ended up going back and using more white to make it a little bit more of a lighter gray. I didn't like the dark gray. So you can either wait until your paint is all the way dry, or if you're impatient like me, you can start while it's a little bit tacky still. But this next part, I go over it with a paintbrush to kind of stipple it. Don't do that. It did not work out. I had to go end up and put, put white paint over the spots that I stippled because it kind of just moved the gray out and I really didn't like that look. So don't make that mistake if you're using this epoxy paint. Just do the straight lines. Another picture but I sink in my soul. I think I need to throw away my phone. I've been running from my life. So when you're doing the veining, it's all just up to you. It doesn't have to be straight, doesn't have to be it's just personal preference, however you want them to look. I used like a picture of marble as my inspiration and I kind of went off of that. That is what I would suggest you do, but obviously you don't have to. Whoa, whoa, whoa. of the sink I did end up using a lighter gray color and I liked it better so I went over those other areas of veining that were a little bit darker and just put the lighter gray over them and it looked a lot better that way in the back of your mind that makes you wonder why you wanna hide we found the meaning of life oh this is To be honest with this project, the hardest part is going to be the placement of the veining. And like I said, I did have to end up going back in and putting white over where I had stippled before. But if you don't make that mistake like I did, you won't have that issue at all. I 
Let me know in the comments, guys. What do you think? That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.